So uh, we created uh, four different tables like class, desk, student, teacher, and we uh, input some of the details regarding the uh, student table, and uh, we create some relationship in between the in between these tables, like some of these tables. So those relationship uh, we 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 were there to uh, create a one to one relationship in between the desk and the student. And we were able to create a one-to-many relationship in between the class and the student. And uh, when you are creating the relationship, uh, what you have to use is uh, the tab called database tool. Then you have to click on the relationship. Then you will be given the chance to take the tables onto your relationship uh, window. So by uh, maintaining the uh, foreign key and the private Yeah, so the uh, foreign key and the, uh, what we call the uh, primary key in the sense like, uh, like when, when you come to the student table, admission number taken as the primary key. When it comes to the desk table, DID is taken as the primary key. When it comes to the class, CID has taken uh, as the primary key. So later to create the uh, relationship in between these two tables, we created the foreign keys. Now, how we are going to create the foreign keys? By making or like by creating a, like, like by having a copy of a primary key of one table inside another table as a normal field. So as you can see, uh, you, can, you can see this admission number over here, which indicates the same primary key of the student table. And you can see the CID is in the student table, which indicates the same CID in the class table. And uh, so that's how the relationship has developed, right? So primary key and the foreign key is the fact which help to create a relationship in between the tables, right? So those are the things that we were uh, talking about. And I told you when the when these relationships are made, uh, you will be able to see the uh, the expansions or like the, rela the, the related data inside the relevant table. So like when you go to the student table, now since you have created the relationship, you can see like uh, what is the relevant data regarding the desk ID, regarding the desk table, right? If you move to the class table, you can see what kind of students or like what are the student details regarding that particular class. It is because we have created this relationship in between the tables. Otherwise, we won't be able to uh, see those uh, uh, data because like uh, this is called cascading the data inside a particular table. So to do the cascading part, uh, we have to create a relationship and when we are creating it, they will be asking or like they will be providing us the options uh, to create uh, this cascading data inside a one particular table if if there is a particular relationship in between them right so that's the uh, point that we have uh, talked so far right so um, and i show you how to create a table how to assign data types to a particular table and how to assign this uh, particular uh, what you call the primary key uh, to a particular table. And uh, likewise, uh, you get to know how to uh, create the table and how to assign the particular, uh, uh, how to insert the particular data into a one particular table. So yes, now, and again, uh, we talked about how to create the relationship like one-to-one -one and one-to-many. And I think we didn't wrote about these things. Am I right, Pip? Did we did we write about one to one relationship and one to many relationships? Can you can anyone confirm this? So we wrote about one to one relationship and drew the table. But the we, table. Didn't write the... we didn't write about the one to many, right? Though? Yes. Yes, sir. Right. Great. Great. 
So let's first uh, write about the one to many relationship uh, and uh, the drew, drew, drawing the table in the sense did we draw about did we draw this particular table or the or the this particular one? We drew, uh, sir, we didn't draw that one. We drew the previous one. Previous one, this one. This is the one that we were drawing, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And and people, before we go to the one-to-many relationship, it's better you uh, draw this as well. Like, it will show you... Uh, hold on, before we go to that... Uh, Yeah, much better uh, you write this thing under the same topic, one-to-one -to -one relationship, then uh, draw this particular one as well. So which indicates like what is one-to-one -one relationship. Right, please copy that. Yes, are we done, people? Anyone who is still writing this? Okay. Moving forward.
Right. So go with the heading one to many relationship. We uh, talked about uh, that as well. So uh, let's write about this. A simple uh, explanation regarding what is one to many relationship. And that will be very much clearer when you uh, uh, drawing the uh, example with you, right? So for the moment, just write the uh, explanation. Then I'll show you what to be drawn. All right, so I'm moving forward. If you are missing yeah. anything, yes. Uh, can you keep it for a while? Ah, yes, sure, 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 sure. Dancer. All right, moving forward. Yeah, so much better. Hold on, let me do any of the features. Yeah, better, better. Better we uh, write about the features of one to many relationships as well. So please uh, copy the table. Heading is going to be features of one to many relationship. Then uh, copy down the table. Right, I'm going to explain these qualities from the example. So let's first uh, copy this down. Then I'll go to the... Uh, example and discuss about this.
Let me know when you are done, people. Yes, everyone, are we done? Anyone who is still writing this? Right. So look at the uh, look at the example over here. Right. Now this explains all the qualities of that uh, table that they are talking about. Right. Like uh, when it comes to the uh, foreign key, there can be duplicate entries. Table says that. Right. But uh, the Primary keys, as we know, they are not going to be duplicated, right? And uh, there can be like one particular student, according to this table, has many particular records in the second table, right? So regarding that, it's it happens only one. It's it happens only one way, right? So this is the table that can duplicate this particular admission number. That means I can have many entries or many records regarding one particular instant. Admission number, the, the student table, is having only one particular record regarding that particular detail, right? So here, the Kavindu Prabhashwara, it's just one record over here. It's not going to repeat, but here, Kavindu Prabhashwara has paid the uh, uh, fees for two times over here. So it can be duplicated without a problem, right? So when we are like creating the relationship, what we always need to do is we take the primary key 
of the one side. Now, when it comes to the student and the facility, student table has the one side and the facility table is going to have the many side, right? So that is why the one side's primary key has been duplicated in the many sides table, right? So that's how the one to many relationship is created. And he, like in case if we are receiving something like this in our examination, and they are asking the question, what's the relationship in between these two tables? What you have to do is you have to figure out who has the foreign key first. So in this case, this, but this is going to be the foreign key. Then you take that table and need to see how many records are there regarding a one particular entry or one particular uh, foreign key type. Right, so if you can find there are many, that there's only one particular record regarding the foreign key type, then it's going to be a one-to-one -one relationship. primary key foreign key entry It's going to be one-to-one. -one. If it's if it is been repeated, then it means for a one particular instance in this table has many particular records in the other table, right? So we can say it's one to many, right? Is that clear, everyone? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Right, okay. So let's, uh, since we have uh, written the table, Yeah, you may write this sentence, then after we can uh, draw the, uh, the student table and the uh, facility table, then after, right? So let's just write this as the next point, then we'll go for the tables. Shall we uh, move forward, people? Anyone who's still writing this? Okay. So you can uh, draw these two tables to show like uh, what's the relationship in between the student and the facility fee table. And make sure you notice it's a one to many relationship that they have.
Okay, are we done? People? No, sir. Right, okay, right, okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Answer. Right. Great. Anyone who's still writing this? Right. Great. Great. Right. So moving forward. Ah, uh, yes. It's better you uh, have this as well. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Write down this one as well. So like it shows what's the relationship in between these two in a summary format, right? So like why I'm uh, presenting you the way that they have shown you the relationship in different ways, because in case if you are asked to uh, Describe or to choose or do 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 a do a uh, like if you need to choose what's the correct way that it's going to be, you need to know like what are the ways that they can do it and they, that they can present it right. So you can have this under that category.
Are we done? Anyone who is still writing this? Okay. Right. So moving forward. Right. Next is the many to many relationship. So before we come to the database relationship or like the database representation, let's look into this example that they have given us. So these are some of the details where they have the name of the details of the student and detail of the sport, as well as uh, the number of participant, like the permanent members per team, All right? So here, what they have, what we can uh, recognize is the admission number is repeating, All right? So like, uh, 1426, Kavindu Prabhashwar. And the same student is over here, doing a different kind of sport. Right, so that means one student can do many sports. And as well as you can see, the cricket is done by Muhammad Malikar as well. That means if you think about these two instances, the same sport is done by different students. Right? So this is nothing like the previous two situations. So in the, in the previous two situations, if it is one-to-one, -one, only one particular record is matched with another particular record of the other table. If it is one-to-many, one particular record is referring to a many particular records in another table. Now here, it goes both the ways, All right? So like one admission number has many sports, one sport has many admission numbers. This kind of a relationship, we call it as a many to many relationship. So this is the way they have shown that. So if the, if the details are being separated according to the uh, database concept, we are going to put student details in one table and the sport details in another table. So 1426, that means this entry, referred to these three, like A001, A002, right? And as well as A003 is also done by Mohamed Malikar and the Janat Abhishek, Janit Ashek, I'm sorry, Janit Ashek. Right, so that means uh, one particular instance is related with many particular instances of the other table and it happens vice versa as well. So how we are going to represent something like this in a database, electronic database or a DBMS, database management system. So to do this, we, we are creating another new table, right? So I think you have seen this earlier as well. Right, so here they got their student table, which has admission number, name, and the date of birth. Here they got the sport table, sport number and sport name, and number of participants can also relate related to this. And uh, look at this. They name this table as student sport table. Now, student sport table indicates what are the sports that the that a particular student is going to do or like currently going on? And again, what are the students who are participating in a one particular topic? Right? So that is how the many-to-many -many relationship is formed. Right? So when it comes to the many-to-many -many relationship, we have to form a new table that was not in our plan earlier. But now, since the cardinality is figured out, we have to create a third table, which includes both the primary keys of the other tables as foreign keys. Like as you can see, the middle table, the student sport table, it has admission number and sport number. And of those, 
can perform a primary key alone. In that table, admission number cannot be taken as a primary key because it is being duplicated. So duplicating values, if the column has duplicating values, we won't be, All right? And as well as there are several sports which is participated by many different students, right? So goes the same way, but uh, you should be very careful when you are like uh, providing this type of, like when you're attempting these type of questions, it should be like uh, uh, very keenly handled, right? Okay, so now how we are going to create this relationship inside the DBMS. So in many to many relationship, they create the relationship like this. So they like, according to this example, it has a student table, right over here. It has sport table. And in between, there is something called student and sport. Uh, which connects both the tables. Like if the third table is not there, you won't be able to see the connection in between uh, any particular person, right? So it is because this student table uh, foreign key is over here and student sport foreign key is over here. Right, so that's how many to many is being created. So let's see, uh, my plan is to create a many to many relationship in between student and the teacher. So to do that, I have to uh, fill some details to the teacher as well. Yeah, so my student table has these things. My teacher table, I'm going to uh, add quick names. All right, so I have uh, entered three particular uh, teachers. So in my student table, there are four particular students. Right now I'm going to create a many-to-many -many relationship in between these two. So to create many-to-many -many relationship, of course we know we have to create another new table, right? Which has, uh, which we consider as a third uh, table regarding the many-to-many -many relationship. So I'll go to the create. Take a table. So go into the design view and I'm going to give the table as student teacher. And uh, this name is given because it contains how many hours uh, that a particular teacher is teaching to their particular students, right? So in the design view, I'm going to say this is as admission number and uh, how was I admission number? I was keeping hold on. Yeah, it's just. Uh, yeah, it seems to be uh, in integers. So let's say it is short. I'll take it as number. Right, so the next things, what are we there? Admission number and the uh, TID, since it is, teacher is involved. 
uh, we can take it as short text. Then integration qualifications. It's it can also go as short text. Right, so we have created the uh, particular table or like the uh, student teacher table. Right, so now I can go for the relationship, then I can tell show table. So there I'm going to take student teacher and teacher. All right. So right. So we know like this table which is a student teacher table is there due to the uh, what the relationship that they were building up it was a many to many relationship right so that means oh we couldn't uh, put the did we yes we haven't saved it yeah so now we are going to create the relationship. How we are going to create the relationship? From student to the student teacher, there can be one admission number in the student table, but there can be a repeated number of uh, student teachers, right? So what you can do is, we can relate it to them, right? So I'll take enforce rep Financial integrity, and I say, get. Ah, yes, these tables are open, so they can't take it. Okay. I'm in mean the database, the data sheet view, and uh, yeah, I'll give like this. Oh uh, yeah, we don't need education and qualification to this particular one. Sorry, it was my mistake. Uh, we need number of hours, the teaching hours, much better. It of course can be a number. So I'm saving it. Yeah, no, this. Right, in student teacher, this is the one. I have say five hours. This is one zero zero one again. Is it zero two? Oh. Mm, okay. So the message that we, they were giving is like, uh, it's saying this particular thing is going to have uh, duplications regarding the admission number. So we have to create the uh, both admission number and the TID as a composite primary key, right? So yeah, it's not allowing us to uh, 
make this I'll delete it for the moment. Okay, student teacher should be in the middle. Student is here, teacher is here. Right, and uh, yeah, we go over here. People hold on a second. Yeah, so like if you want to make two particular uh, columns as the primary key, you have to select those two columns or like two designs together. Once you move your mouse pointer over here, then you can select multiple records or like multiple lines. So like here you uh, select multiple lines and click the primary key. So both the things are specified as the primary key, right? Now it will allow me to uh, enter the data, right? As the way I uh, done. Now it will not uh, give me an error message because I have said both are uh, related to give the primary key, right? Okay, so here, uh, yeah, it shows you like same student, 
is teaching from many different uh, teachers and the same teacher is teaching to many different students. Right, so I'm saving it and I'm closing it and I'm going to the relationship table. So now the management relationship creation. So how I'm going to do is this is my third table, the new table that I'm uh, that I was created. So this admission number goes with this admission number, right? So yes, it says something relationship must be on the same number of field with the same data type. Okay, I think it's the problem with the data type. Uh, let me quickly check what's the data type of the student. Ah, yes, admission number is taken as short text. So in student teacher, I have uh, taken it as number. So this is going to be short text and save. Let's see whether it is working now. Yes, it does. And uh, TID is going to connect with TID. Okay. Uh, then in the same student teacher by this. Ah, right, okay. Yes, okay. So in case, now it says uh, it violates the referential integrity. Referential integrity means like I can't add a teacher teacher's number if that teacher is not recorded in the uh, teacher's table. So in the student teacher table, I have gone teacher IDs from one, two, and four. And uh, in the teacher's table, I got only three te teachers. So in that case, I change this as T003 and I save it. Then I will be able to Ah, yes, uh, I have to close this. I have to close this. Right, let's do it. Yeah, so now you can see all three relationships over here. This contains one to one. This contains one to many. One is this side, many is this side. And these three together indicates you many to many, right? So one admission number can have many over here. It's so like one TID, they can have many over here. Right, so that is how the many to many relationship is created as well. Okay, people, are we clear about this? Yes, everyone, are we clear about this? Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Right, so let's quickly uh, write about this. So many to many relationship. Right, many to many relationship. Yeah, have this definition.
Right. So moving forward, anyone who is still writing this? Okay. So, yes. Yeah, this is the one I need you to draw. So it's a little lengthy process, little lengthy uh, diagram that you have to draw today. Hold on. So let me uh, reduce the size. So you can uh, maximize it in your screen and you can finish up the things, right? So draw that particular diagram to understand how the many to many relationship is made out of.
paper are we done no sir right okay right okay keep doing yeah. Dance. Right, so moving forward. Yes, so it's better you write these things, people. Uh, yes, these three lines, it's better you write that. Right, then we can uh, draw the structure which is underneath, like on the next page, right? Maybe get the one. Well, let's drop again.
right people so let's draw this yeah yes so let's draw this then after we can end the session for today people so uh, you can draw this and disconnect from the session so by next week we are going to talk about the other objects like the forms how to create the forms how to create the reports and how to create a query right so then we will be able to uh, see a end of the lesson right so once you are done with this you can disconnect from the session right thank you very much everyone so i'll see you on next week for the very same time Okay, Sanushi, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Hello. Okay, Dua. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Thank you, Dua. Thank you very much.